So this transition that we're moving through is creating a greater sense of awareness of interconnectedness and unity. So the choices that you make today will influence the trajectory of your future timeline. Just like the ancient civilizations, whatever they were imagining years ago is now a solid reality. Now, if you take these ancient civilizations, ancient stories, mythology, just as the Greeks told stories, inspired and influenced the Romans, the Romans also inspired the cultural development of later societies. Some of the planets are named after Roman gods, the Mahabharata, the rise and fall of Atlantis. All this has influenced society one way or another. And today we can look back at these stories, this mythology, as insight into what life was like. And much of what we believe and do today was created and influenced by these ancient civilizations and our ancestors. None of it could have happened without the power of imagination. And they have prepared you for what's to come because it's in our DNA and your higher self knows it. Ask yourself the question, what am I choosing today to come into deeper alignment with myself? What am I going to do differently today? And the reason why I ask you this question is because the middle point to everything is imagination. Imagination creates realities. It's the door to every dimension, to every possibility. It's what governs you to take action, to choose a direction which will influence your timeline. If I look back at my ancestors or my grandparents, they travelled to another country to create a better future, overcoming their fears creating a better future for the following generation. So imagination shapes the way you see reality and it affects your expectations, your hopes, your actions and your behaviour. Now, in a way, we are constantly dying and being reborn by the choices that we make. And I'm not saying this from like a place of fear, but empowerment as a way for you to check in with yourself. What am I choosing today? Is in alignment with where I want to go, with the way that I want to create and live life, with what I want to manifest, with the version that I want to be. And not to be in fear or survival. Because in any given moment, you can choose to go either towards love and hope or towards fear and hate. You can't have it both ways. Otherwise, it creates a split in your energy field. So here you can really use the power of imagination to create and shift change for what you want to create and manifest. And you can see the power of imagination being played out more recently in stories told via movies like The Matrix, for example. This literally changed reality. And it was the first time the simulation theory was put out into the masses. The seed was planted in society. Or if you look at Doctor Strange, for example, he goes through his own chaos at the beginning until he travels east, just like many spiritual people do. They travel to Nepal, to Tibet, to India, whatever that may be. But he travels to the east, unlocking ancient wisdom, the inner power within him, understanding the knowledge of multiverse, different dimensions and different realms. So spiritual concepts are being popularised through movies. So these ancient stories, signs and symbolism and spiritual interpretations are intertwined in society. And this is what more of us are waking up to as we realise and remember who we are. And everyone is talking about these things because the consciousness of the planet is ready to understand. And even in my previous video, I talked about how as we move through this transitional period, through this making evolutionary choices, we are waking up within ourselves ancient wisdom, psychic abilities, elementals uh, and having unique experiences and visions coming through us. There are signs everywhere that can be discerned by those who are ready to attune into them and are ready to level up and your higher self, your inner being knows when you are ready, you have been prepared for this and you will naturally be drawn to particular things, signs, synchronicities, angel numbers, books, whatever that may be, that resonates with you at core level. Even quantum physics uses imagination because as you vibrate at a different frequency, cleaning up your energy field, you're able to tap into one of those infinite parallel realities that exist out there in the quantum field. So when it comes to taking action, making a choice, choosing a direction, it can feel very scary, wondering if we're doing the right thing. And these planetary energies are urging us to make a choice. For you to use this perfect present moment to own your power. And even as we say this to ourselves, it can activate something within us. Almost like a nervous, anxious energy. And we can feel it in ourselves. It's because the ego recognises that there's a fundamental death that takes place. And it happens the moment you choose something different. The moment you step into your power, owning who you are showing up differently 
the moment you let go of the old. So the first step is to surrender to life. This is not the same as giving up, but giving up fighting with life. When you're not fighting with it, you're working with life as a co-creator. Just like you can't beat a river into submission, you have to surrender to its current and raise your conscious awareness. When you surrender, you consciously are in control of your actions and your reactions. You can consciously choose the direction, the flow of your life. It's the ultimate tool for empowerment and taking positive action. For example, when I look back at the crisis that I went through, that dark period a couple of years ago, as I moved through that, I vented my heartache. I released that negative stagnant energy. And then eventually I was able to let go of that victim and survival mentality that I was living in, that I was programmed in. And eventually I was eventually I stopped questioning the situation that I found myself in. I learned the necessary lessons. I accepted that this is what my soul came here to experience. And eventually doors of opportunity opened up for me and I was able to shift my life. But through that process, a part of me also had to die in order for me to birth something new. And that, were, and that required me to step into the unknown, to surrender to the universe. And even if you're thinking, well, how is this possible? How am I supposed to create and shift what I want to do and manifest when there is so much chaos and conflict in the world? But if you think about it, it's always been there. Even if you look back maybe 10, 100, 200 years ago, there's always some sort of chaos or war going on right? And even if you look back at ancient civilizations, worse things have happened. But that's evolution and something beautiful, something great always comes out of these situations. For example, human rights, freedom of speech, art, technology, whatever that is, there's always something that comes out of chaos. And there's so much that we can appreciate and be grateful for. Imagination, yes, it creates some sort of chaos, but it also creates and creates realities. So even if it feels like we're going through a terrible time in history, but we're actually moving towards something amazing, new earth energy, and you have the power to shape it by the choices and the action that you take in the present moment of now. So as you surrender to life, surrendering to the unknown, even though you may not know what it's like on the other end or how you're going to make it through, but you surrender to the universe and you trust. And your job is to focus on yourself, working on yourself, looking beyond the world in front of you, using the power of imagination, thinking about the experiences that you can have and paying attention to any lessons, to any signs and guidance on your journey. The only way to transcend is to keep looking into the possibilities and not the problem itself. These ancient civilizations and your ancestors have prepared you for this. Hence the reason why you are here now in body, to help assist with the collective consciousness. And your higher self is bringing this to your attention. This is your sign. And even as you move forward, you may not immediately accept what comes your way. But your willingness to surrender to life will make this journey more joyful. And if you sustain that momentum long enough, savouring it, you will then achieve what you set out to seek. Or better yet, find peace on your journey. Now this leads me to step number two, to meditate. Now meditation is not about following a particular spiritual path or following a specific rule. It has the power to calm you, to center you, to give you the confidence that you require to then go and manifest using the power of imagination, as well as guiding you on your journey. So here, meditation is about imagination because imagination allows you to tap into different realities, different possibilities. It inspires you to take action. For example, people who wrote spiritual books, they didn't follow rules, they connected with their imagination. And the same with these ancient civilizations and our ancestors. They went beyond their fears, their safety, and stepped into the unknown, creating realities, but with the power of their imagination. And it's like what Neville Goddard says, he's an author and teacher. He believed in the power of imagination, being the force that creates realities. It's the force that shapes future experiences. So everything that we know was created by using imagination. Imagination creates realities. By tapping into your own imagination, you're opening yourself up to infinite possibilities. 
Now, the only way to understand the outside is to go within. So the chaos that we are living in today, no matter how big or small you think it is, is perfect for a world that needs to go back to meditation. Hence the reason why people who are waking up are heading towards meditation as a powerful tool of going within, remembering who they are, connecting with everything as everything is energy, trusting themselves and looking for answers within undoing the programming and the conditioning is the only way that you can grow and evolve as a conscious being and expand as well as help the planet ascend to higher consciousness as well. You are part of a dynamic universe and meditation connects you to all that is. We often look at meditation as a way to unplug from the world. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but in reality, you are plugging into an entire universe. And when you connect to your higher self, you open yourself up to infinite possibilities, infinite parallel realities that you can tap into by cleaning up your energy field and by using the power of imagination. Imagination is the most effective way of planting seeds within the subconscious mind. So as you drift off to sleep, into that semi-conscious state, before you imagine, you shift into an alpha and theta brainwave state. This will open you up more creatively and you become more connected to the subconscious mind. Your conscious mind plays a minor role here. It's your subconscious mind that drives manifestations. Your subconscious mind operates on what it's programmed to think and believe. So if you want to create a shift and if you want to no longer feel frustrated, angry, resentful, carrying that guilt, shame, living in fear or survival, in an unfulfilling life, then you need to shift and change the way you think, feel and act. And then imagine what it would feel like being and embodying this new version of yourself. So there are two natural windows when this happens. In the morning when you wake out of sleep, as you transition through brainwave states and when you fall asleep. So utilise these natural windows. But if you struggle to calm the mind, then using guided meditations, affirmations, mantras, meditative music to help assist you until you get into that state can be really useful. But try not to force or strain when trying to visualise or imagine. Instead, imagine that you're painting a scene and you're bringing it alive to life with your feelings and your emotions. By using the power of imagination, you can visualise, you can conceptualise, you can explore possibilities beyond your reality. The power of imagination is powerful, it's a potent tool for creativity, for problem solving, for manifesting and then taking positive action. Your job is to focus, to visualise, to visualise that vision in your mind's eye, to look beyond all and to think about every single detail as you think about the vision that you want to bring to life. Your job is not worry about the how or the why, you leave that to the universe. So when you surrender and you turn inwards through your meditation practice, you build the strength and the stamina to face the world and you move confidently in the direction of your goals and your dreams and you connect with your higher self, with the source within you and you will see how your life transforms because you have been prepared for this. It's within you, you are it. Let me know in the comments below how you're getting on and please like and subscribe and share it with others who need to hear this message to help build this community and I will see you in the next video. Take care, much love, namaste.